Hey, what's up, guys? It's Maddie the Nerf Guy here, broadcasting to you live from the Maddie Layer. In this video, I'm bringing to you another Nerf loadout. So, going over my attire, I have, I have all camo on. Not really much to uh, not really much to say, you know. Um, so yeah, um, a fun, quick story behind this: my grandpa had bought this for my filing cabinet. Um, the reason being is in 2009, I I had gotten out of Nerf because I was more into writing stories and literature, and just I really wanted to be a writer. I wasn't really much into, into, into Nerf. I just played Nerf just for the heck of it. Usually I only played once a year. Well, um, my grandpa had bought this because he couldn't find any other material that matched this. So he bought this from a military surplus store and what he wanted to do was cut this into like little and cut this into like bits and pieces and just glue it to my filing cabinet. The reason why I have a filing cabinet and all is just because I needed something, you know, to, uh, to keep all my materials in for writing. But also, you know, most of my stuff in my room is camo. I have, like, camo... I'd, well, I had camo covers, and I have a camo uh, curtain over my window. Well, he wanted to give me something that matched. Well, we never got around to it, so he just said, you know, Hey, Matthew, why don't you just take this camo? So, ever since then, I've been using this in my Nerf Wars. So, going over the rest um what this BDU serves and all, this old style BDU, is... This camo is just really comfortable, for one. I mean, it's it breathes, it's very comfortable, I can move around in it, you know, I can jump around and it won't do anything. And um, Also, I like it because it has deep pockets. It's got two up here and two down here, but I can carry extra blasters, um, I can carry extra blasters, magazines, and darts, um, depending on the size of the blasters. But what I plan on doing is carrying a big shock in the, the pocket that's uh, right here, and carrying a few extra magazines in the other three pockets. Um, now I have four, I have six pockets on my, uh, um, on my pants, two in the back, two on the sides, and two with just the right, like, jeans pockets pretty much and all. Those are going to serve as, like, additional blasters for, um, you know, for games in case I ever go to HVZ or something. I'm a support, support guy, so my objective is to carry as many blasters, darts, and magazines as possible. And all and these this makes it possible along with my tactical vest. Now going over my primary for this loadout is this is what I just like to call my Zambi loadout. You know, I mean it's just um basically all it is is just my uh primary here is a zombie strike sling fire. Um as you can see I have a twelve round magazine. This originally came with um, this originally came with a, uh, what was it, um, originally came with a, uh, an N-Strike Elite 6 round magazine. I didn't really like that and all, but also being the fact that, oh, my primary, I need just a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, a few more darts. So, this is light enough to where I can just, you know, pop off, uh, Zambies or, am I just pop off, my, tag my opponents out when I'm in a Nerf War, you know, um, I plan on going to Humans vs. Zombies here this summer, so, um, I believe it's, uh, at Indiana State University, so yeah, um, this is just a really cool blaster, I mean, the fact that you can just fire, the fire rapidly, I mean, also, it's so powerful on this thing, you can one-handed operate it, um, yeah, so going over my tactical vest, I have in here, in this pocket, I have a a double strike. Um, this is a last ditch blaster, you know. Um, so in case somebody tries rushing me, this thing's only going to be pulled back, but so I can go like that, and there's only going to be primed and loaded. The reason being for that is because, for one, in case I'm reloading and somebody tries rushing me, I need to be able to pull out and tag them out while if they try rushing me while I'm while I'm reloading. In this pocket right here. I have, I have extra darts right here. I have, a, I have about uh, ten darts in there. Now, um, this is an airsoft tag vest. I'm a, an airsoft vest, not tag vest. Sorry, this is an airsoft tactical vest. Um, rather than go with a like a traditional loadout, like where they go uh, up to like UK weapon systems and all from online, I found this to be a lot cheaper. You know, the tactical vest. Granted, it's not as high quality as high of um, uh, quality as what you might get online, but I got it based on the fact that it's only about 40 bucks and it's really durable. It's good enough for my uh, my loadouts that I prefer to carry 
on a uh, on game on no wars and I mean also I just don't really feel like spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on lo on loadout stuff on stuff on stuff that I'm never really going to use um so I mean yeah um I got this at a sporting place called Cabela's it's a, a new sporting place similar to Dick's Sporting Goods but um I got this in their airsoft section uh, for the sporting stuff and all it was just really cool um. Uh, Cabela's, for those of you who don't know, just recently opened, I believe it was la well, earlier last year. So yeah, has a, I think it's been around for about a year now. Um, I went and got this this weekend for my Nerf War on May 7th and 8th, Arcadia War of Champions. So yeah, um, going over the rest of the loadout, um, in this pocket right here, I have two additional magazines, six for, for, six, for six stars each. As you can see, they are not loaded. That's just because um, I'm in my room right now, not really outside. So yeah, um, but that's in case I need to drop an another magazine. Just drop this out. I can easily pull that out and continue firing. Um, so yeah, that's basically all that all this loadout is. Now, um, now this here is just sort of another one of my favorite loadouts um with this magazine up right here okay um so yeah but um so in this loadout i don't really carry that much except for extra darts and a, a last resort blaster and other uh, other clips you know um so yeah and other magazines my f most favorite part of my so this is probably my lightest loadout possible just based on the fact that i like it because it's light you don't have to carry that much ammunition. <laughs> ammunition, I'm sorry. You don't have to carry that many darts. And also, I mean, me, I'm only going to be firing when advantageous to me. Basically means that while my team, while I'm leading my team, and let's say I'm going to be, I'm mainly a leader for my team. So when they try firing at me or something, I was going to just waste my darts with, because I'm not a too big a fan, fan of flywheels. Um, I like the springers. So the reason being for the springers is just because well, they can serve. They can serve how much ammo you're putting out. So, for me, it should just be you know aim, fire, aim, fire, aim, fire. You know, it shouldn't be you know just pew, 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 like that. Because I mean, in my opinion, just when you have a flywheel, you know, it gives away your position. But also, you have to if you're going full auto or semi auto, there's never a guaranteed chance that you're gonna tag them. Whereas if you just do this, you know, and you're skilled enough, you can tag them. In my mind, it's just like one, what, it just should be one dart, one tag, you know? Um, so yeah. So I really love this loadout. It is obviously, it is my most favorite loadout of all. Um, it's basically, it's very light, very comfortable. I'm not too, you know, I'm, I'm jumping up and down because, I mean, I want to show you that this thing is, is very solid and firm. Even though it's airsoft and all, it's really good for holding this, uh, put this down here. Um, holding this, uh, this double strike. I mean... So yeah, um, now I know you're probably thinking, well, yeah, you can't have airsoft gear in a Nerf war. Well, in my opinion, yeah, you can, just I'm utilizing this for my Nerf blasters. Um, again, the reason why I said this is there's only 40 bucks, and it's very cheap. Yes, it's not as high of, it's not like, it's not like UK weapon systems as in like a, you know, in some HVZ loadouts. You know, we can carry a lot of, I mean, a lot of darts and blasters on you, but it is good for holding extra darts, magazines, and blasters. Um, I just like it because also it looks cool, and also, like you say, the price was very awesome. So, uh, and also the other blaster I use with this is my Alpha Trooper. Um, now, when I use this with my Alpha Trooper, you know, um, I, is what I, that's when things I need... Sorry. Sorry, this thing kind of sort of jams up a bit, sorry. Um, I like to use the Alpha Trooper because this is the one that I... This is my most favorite blaster. And, um... Um... So this is another thing in this loadout. Um, it's not really for Zambies or anything, but... Yeah. So, um... This right here is just another one of my primaries. Um... This thing right here is just... I'll usually have this thing on a sling. You know, I don't have my sling with me, so I'm gonna have to get another sling. But I'll be using this on a sling back here on a one-point sling. That way, I can just toss this, toss this one down, 
and pick this up. But probably for this loadout, my most favorite primary have to be my Elder Trooper. I have it with, equipped with a a uh, 25 uh, dot drum. I do have a long a long shot sight on it, with equipped with a um and equipped with a recon stock. I like the recon stock just based on the fact that even I am a short guy, so um, the fact that I can just put it up to my shoulder like this very com quite comfortably and just aim is huge. So yeah, um, but that's part of my part of my nerf loadout video and all. Um, I'll go ahead and and remove the, remove my not gear here. So yeah, um, okay. So anyway, um, update video on two more on the next two no loadout videos. Um, I have a package coming. One is my new Nerf Stampede coming from my friend uh, uh, Joe Quinn. I can't pron I can't pronounce his name at all. Um, his name is Joe Quinn Nova. He's my friend on Facebook. Um, I had bought a Stampede from him for like uh, fifty five dollars. Pretty good deal. Um, he modded instead of running on six D batteries, he modded the battery tray. You know, and now it runs on double A's. It's new in box, so that should be really cool. And then also, I'm going to feature that in a review video, a tagback video, and my next Nerf loadout video. Also, I'm going to be getting a, for my friend John Riffle at Gorilla Tactical, I have um, some camo, I have some, uh, like a light camo and all. They're not, they don't match this per se, but they are camo related and they are green, my favorite color. I'm going to be doing a review on those, and a big shout out to him. Uh, when I do that, I will promise to put a link to the Gorilla Tactical on Facebook. Um, they're really cool. Um, so yeah, those are my new next two loadout videos. I will be doing the Stampede in my loadout video. Again, I will be doing a review video on the Gorilla Tactical gear, and I'll be doing a few new reviews and some more thrifting videos in the next uh, two or three weeks. So hit please hit that subscribe button. If you have any reviews or any loadout videos you would like to see, please give me a comment in the in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you next time on Maddie the Nerf Guy. Peace out, y'all.